welcome everyone to COVID-19 breastfeeding Q&A. And we've got here Dr. Crystal and Sheila Janikos, MPH IBCLC. We're really excited to cover this topic. We know that there are a lot of questions that come up around this. So we're excited to go over all of the different options and tips and tricks that we have here. I'd like to introduce and welcome Sheila Janikos, MPH IBCLC, founder and CEO of Healthy Horizons with 30 years of experience and clinical ex, uh, ex expertise rather in clinical experience. So welcome Sheila, we're excited to have you. Thank you, Azar. And then we also have Dr. Crystal. And Dr. Crystal is a board certified Stanford trained OBGYN physician entrepreneur and a physician lead for Stardex COVID-19 Task Force. That's really exciting. Thank so you. welcome, Dr. Crystal. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. So we're going to jump right in question here. And Michelle asks, can COVID-19 be passed through breastfeeding? Well, so far, the data shows that COVID-19, the virus, is not passed through breastfeeding, which is very reassuring. Um, there's been several studies looking at breast milk, and there's no uh, virus that is culturable um, from breast milk. The things that are passed through breast milk are maternal uh, antibodies, maternal IgA, which um, can help protect the baby. And also, uh, we now know that there are immune complexes that are in the milk that help stimulate the baby's own immune system to make antibodies against COVID-19. So. Oh, wow, that's really interesting. Yeah. Are there any other pieces along that that you think the new parents should know? Any new, I'm sorry, didn't you? Any new pieces along that that you think new parents should know about that? Yeah, the, 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 that latest study that came out where they looked at um, uh, 21 moms and 22 babies. And there's other studies that have also looked at the milk. But it's really interesting that breastfeeding will uh, is going to, if a mom has either the vaccine or has had COVID, it can really help stimulate the baby's own immune system so that the baby makes something called IgA in its mouth and its saliva and it helps protect it against COVID. The human body is amazing about how it adapts. That's really, yeah, that's really interesting. Yeah. So we do have also some resources. Uh, Dr. Crystal has a COVID weekly newsletter summary, and you can find that at drruth.substack.com. We'll also have that in the handout that will be either in the description or emailed if you signed up for the live. Um, Dr. Crystal also has a very large following on Twitter at Catch the Baby, where uh, she goes over a lot of different questions um, in relation to everything. Do you want to speak about what you speak on there, Dr. Crystal? Um, well, I, I tend to put a lot of things uh, about COVID because I'm on the Stardex. Stardex is Stanford's um, uh, startup accelerator. So I t I'm on their COVID task force. So I, I do read a lot about COVID every day. And so interesting findings I put on there. Um, and that's also the, the weekly newsletter is all news about COVID. It's not just COVID and breastfeeding, um, but anything that we find out about, you know, any kind of anything related to COVID and um, usually put it in there. Yeah. That'll be a wonderful resource for new parents. Absolutely. And we also have Healthy Horizons breastfeeding available on all the different social media channels. We wanted to thank everyone today. We, um, Healthy Horizons is presenting this COVID and breastfeeding Q&A. And our mission is to empower breastfeeding parents at work and at home. And we're the first company to offer comprehensive lactation at work benefits at scale across North America and support breastfeeding families with lactation consultations and support groups, as well as breastfeeding and baby products. Thank you so much, Dr. Crystal and Sheila, today for yeah. answering all the different questions that we had. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. Yeah.